what can you do together to, to actually ensure that the labor force partition rates go up for women, so many women in the informal economy. So love to hear you, you know, it, it's, if we look at the gender gap report broadly, we are really doing across countries a much better job on education and health than labor force participation and including pay equity and political engagement. So love to hear you maybe brainstorm a little about what can we do. So please share. So uh, definitely I think that we need to set up a, a common agenda and a strategy and I will take it from what Dan was uh, commenting. I think that one of the key points where we can help women, uh, both women and men as when we are the boss, it's really to encourage women. I have found so many times that women feel they are not enough prepared uh, for a challenge. When you ask men, they are always ready uh, for, for a position. And I think that that's part of the education because really when you go through education, uh, the type of sports, for, for example, that, that, that uh, uh, boys used to do are more risk takers than the ones that uh, uh, girls uh, typically do. Uh, and, and on that, it starts, it starts from there. So it, it's very important uh, for we as, as leaders to really encourage women to go through the different challenges 